Syracuse lacrosse and Cornell lacrosse do battle once again after a year off. Boy, does it feel good to say that. And Syracuse and Cornell for the first time in quite some time do battle here. Second midfield comes out for Syracuse. Here's Joey Spolina. And a rip and a score from Owen Hiltz. Against Spolina. And a shot in front of Cajun, it just squeaks past Tully. Finn Thompson's on the board, 6-0 Syracuse early on. Municipal penalty, Kirst finds Long in the middle and Michael Long makes it four straight goals for Cornell. Nice patience, you think, does this maybe just slow the tempo down in this game, which I think is what Cornell would like most ultimately. Joey oh, Spolina, <laughs> Oh, Joey Spolina! The stick skills of number 22 on display once again. That's not a particularly high number for defenses. Owen Hiltz, oh, Owen Hiltz, the fast hands makes it a 10-5 lead for Syracuse. And that's one I think Matt Tully would like that. Or what every team has tried to attack against Cornell. And now Jake Stevens will fast it off. A free shot for Luke Roa, who was all alone. Joey Spolina wearing the Fable 22. Joey Spolina. That is textbook Joey Spolina. A single one-on-one -on -one dodge against Jason Singer. Go to Firth here. They did on the last possession. They try again here. Firth found Kelleher all alone. Why? Hugh, Hugh Kelleher. Two goals. Time. Against, worth time against Rice. Spencer Worth time. We'll get it up to Goldstein. Ryan Goldstein. Oh, what a save. save from Will Mark going down, reaching the stick up high to make his 14th worth time. All alone, CJ Kirst all alone! CJ Kirst has won the game for Cornell! Syracuse led in the first quarter, seven nothing. Up 16 to 10 in the third quarter, and it was seven straight goals for Cornell to make a 17-16 lead at the end of the game. Syracuse tied it up with one second left, and in double overtime, who else but C.J. Kirsch to win the game for Cornell.